Hi, I'm Marianne Landry, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. I record the small tips and tricks as an answer from a question I received from the area. The concern was that sometime when using an infinite background and showcase, the shadow were being cut off. Here how to fix it. Okay, so this is a good example of what I'm trying to show you here. I have this small object and I am using an infinite background. So when you are using an infinite background, there's few things you uh, need to know. So these are the infinite backgrounds. So obviously there is no geometry in this background. It's just in a, uh, an environment, but there is an hidden plane to receive this shadow in here. So I'm going to show you a few settings that you might want to consider. So first of all, if I have this object, perhaps, and it's quite high up in the air rather than being close to the ground, you see that the shadow is disappearing. So this is what people often call um, losing their shadow or having a shadow cut off. So there's a few uh, things that you can do to fix that. This will also happen if you have a very tall object and the shadow is very long and at one point it'll start disappearing. So the first thing you want to do is go under the appearance menu and call the directional light and shadow menu. So in here, a uh, few things to keep in mind. So by default, um, you see that the shadow is very, very soft, sometime almost invisible. So if I rise this element a little bit, you see that the shadow is very, very soft. Now, that might not be the desired shadow that you want. You might want to look for a very sharp shadow. So you might want to reduce the amount of softness that you have in your scene to have a bit more of a sharp shadow. So this one thing you might want to look into. Now, you see that the shadow gets distorted as I am raising this object, and that's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the exact type of shadow. So the thing that you might want to look into is the drop off distance by default is set to 10 centimeter. If I increase this amount, you will notice that the shadow no longer gets faded away or cut off. So if I rise this object, you see that the shadow gets um, a little bit more faded, which is normal because my, my object is higher up in the air, but the shadow is no longer cut off and I have a full shadow now. So you see that the shadow shape is quite differently. So if I go back to a, the, a smaller amount here, you'll see that the shadow gets cut off and it's not giving me the realistic shadow. So this is the settings that you want to look into to have the complete shadow. Now, another thing you might want to think about is that I told you that there's an hidden plane here from which the shadow is dropped on. So see, if I move this object here, I am reaching the limit of that hidden plane where my shadow can land on, right? So maybe your object is located here and you only have a little bit of the shadow. Now that's not really what you're looking for. And this, this um, ch uh, challenge will happen a lot if you have very tall object, they will most likely reach the end of that plane. Right? So if I'm moving my object a little further down, you see the corner of my plane object here. So to fix this problem, you're going to have to go under File, Settings, Scene Settings, and you're going to use the uh, size of all environment in that scene setting here. So it's set by one by default. If I increase this number, you'll see that this plane gets bigger. If I decrease it, you will notice that the plane where my object shadow can land on is a very small, so I can't even see my shadow right now. So I'm totally lost. So you see that as I am increasing the amount uh, of this um, environment, the size of this environment, it is um, increasing or making that plane, that invisible plane that is receiving the shadow bigger. And now my shadow is not cut off anymore. So you might want to find the uh, perfect uh, size uh, that you're looking for, for the scene that you're looking for. So two things to look about, to think about the shadow drop off, the shadow blurriness or sharpness, as well as the size of all environment in this scene. So this will explain why your shadow gets cut off or that is not uh, properly shown in your scene as what you are expecting. So these are a few things that you might want to consider uh, to make your scene a little bit more believable. 